Hi everybody, hope you're having a good night. Um, sorry I didn't make a video yesterday, or I don't know if I made one the day before. I've been really slacking on making my videos uh, the last couple, about the last week or two. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to check in with everybody, let you know I'm doing well. Um, my sister had a COVID-19 scare, but it ended up coming back negative, the test did, so woo! Um... And, um, yeah, so, um, I don't really know exactly what to talk about. Um, I need to start writing down my ideas whenever I think of them because then I forget them and then it comes time to make a video and I'm just like, well, what am I going to talk about? Um, so, oh, God, I wish I could remember that one. I was like, I was even like, oh my God, that was so good. Um, but, um. I would like to take a moment and just say, if everybody can send prayers out there, if you pray, um, just to pray for the wellness of everybody on the earth and your friends and family and everybody that you know. Um, and I'll do the same. Because it's just um, prayer and AA has helped me so much. It makes me feel like I'm not in control of it, um, you know, so if I put that trust in a higher power or God or whatever you want to call it, um, it just kind of takes it off of you. It's not your fault. It's not your responsibility. It's, you know, it's, I don't know, and I find it helpful. So, um, anyway, I do that and it really helps me a lot um so let's just start with that um now oh now i don't remember what i was going to talk about i was going to talk about pets that's it um so in my live the other day we were talking about everybody's pets now i've had three dogs in my lifetime so far one was a family pet and the other two were mine specifically. Um, the first dog we had, his, he was a cockapoo, a cocker spaniel poodle, and his name was Oreo because he was all black minus one white stripe all the way down from his nose down to his belly. And so we called him Oreo because he looks like an Oreo. <laughs> um, now that dog, let me tell you what, he was the coolest dog ever. He would play fetch with himself, like he'd run across the backyard, throw the ball over his shoulder, and then go chase it. Like, <laughs> and he he learned he did that himself. He did not have to be shown how to do it. Um, he just did it, and he was such a cool dog. He whenever we sat down to dinner, he would just automatically go and sleep and lay down the underneath the uh, china cupboard, which was in the in the dining room and like it just took a couple people sitting down and he would go lay under there that was another thing he wasn't shown he just did it on his own and um whenever people started to get up from the table then he would get up and go back in, in, into other areas of the house um and that dog did not like to stay with you if he could run away he would run away but the coolest thing is, he always found his way back to the house. You know, we never had to worry about it. Oh. Sorry, just one second. Hello? Yes. All right, sorry about that. That was my sponsor. I just got out of an online meeting, and um, some stuff went down in it, and he was making sure that I wasn't offended, which I wasn't, so everything's good. Um, now, what was I going to say, um, about Oreo? Um, well, he, um, yeah, like he would run away, but he always found his way back home. I think is what I was saying, which was always awesome. And he would get out all the time, but we never had to go look for him because he was a fast dog. He would just take off, roam the neighborhood, and then find his way home. We'd find him on the front porch barking. So he was such a cool dog. 
Um, unfortunately, he didn't. He wasn't with us for very long. Um, sometimes cockapoos get an autoimmune disease if they're inbred too much. Um, and we got him from a puppy mill. Um, we figured out um, after you know after we got him, um, and it was um, it was sad, but has basically his blood crystallized um so it couldn't take in oxygen and um he ended up suffocating to death which was really upsetting <laughs> my it happened the day after my 10th birthday party um the party not my birthday but the party because my the party was like a week after my birthday i think because my my birthday fell on a monday or something like that or a sunday and so we wanted to do a sleepover with me and my friends. And the whole time that we had the sleepover, he was just acting really weird and and everything. And, like, he just he wouldn't get up out of his bed and things like that. Because he slept on this old pillow of ours. And he, like, wet the pillow and everything. And it was just, we were concerned. So the next morning, my brother took him to the vet. The vet just, he said he, he took um, a little bit of his blood, put it on a vial... And he goes, oh, I'm really sorry, and told my brother, because my brother was the one who, who took him, because I don't know where my parents were. I think they were either working or they were doing something. Um, or maybe one of my parents wanted to stay with us and had my brother go take him to the vet. I don't know. But for some reason, there was only one parent, so my brother had to take the dog. And um, the doctor told him, he's like, I could put him down now, but it's going to cost you like 75 bucks. Or you could just go take him somewhere quiet and be with them. Because he doesn't have much long, much longer to go. And so my brother took him to out into the country and held him until he was gone. And I had never cried so hard in my entire life when, until whenever I saw Oreo just laying there and motionless. And I just, I remember crying over him so hard. And I remember my mom, I think it was my mom was away. She was working or something. Um, maybe she had gotten called out. Who knows? Um, and she came in, she drove in. She saw me laying there or sitting there crying. And I don't know if she knew that Oreo had died yet. There weren't cell phones back then yet that were, I mean, widely used at least, because I was 10 years old, so that was 1995, so, um, yeah, but she saw me, she, she couldn't tell what I was crying over, and then I, I set up, and she saw Oreo, and that's when she realized that he was gone, so it was, it was just a very sad time for all of us, um, now, my second dog, or, well, not my second dog. My own first dog. Uh, we didn't get him until I was in high school. Because my parents were just dead set. We were never going to get another pet. Just because how much it tore us apart. And um, finally, I convinced them on my 15th birthday to get me Farley. And um, it was another thing. We got him from um, people who were selling dogs outside of Walmart. And we went and got him. Uh, well, they were they went and looked first, and they saw something that didn't shed that they liked, and they showed him to me, and I was just like, I don't like the look of that dog. And then they handed out, I was like, what's a Chihuahua Pekingese mix look like? And so they brought out Farley, and I would not let him go. I was like, oh my god, he's so cute. And I just, I held him, and I, like, even as we looked at other dogs, I was like, can I continue holding him? And they're like, yeah, sure. So... Um, I continued to hold him, and I was just like, all right, this is the one I want. I was like, this is the one I want. And so um, we got Farley, and I named him Farley after Chris Farley, because uh, I couldn't think of what to name him. And we were watching SNL, and they go, Chris Farley! And I was like, how about Farley? Because Chris Farley was my favorite SNL star, probably of all time. So um, it, was, it was very fitting. Um, and... The um, the personality of Farley was the complete opposite of Oreo. He was very hyperactive, very high strung. Um, 
But you could let him out to go to the bathroom without our f backyard fence, and he would come right back. Unless you left him out too long, which I did one time. Uh, when we After we moved up to Missouri. So, um, he was a special dog um, as well. But, um, like, like I said, he was just... He didn't like to cuddle, but he'd lay next to you and, like, touch his paw on your hands like that. Or on your leg like that. You know, and that was his cuddling. Um, <laughs> it was um, very different than Oreo. So, um, yeah, he was... He was about, uh, let me see, let me do the math. He was about six or seven, yeah, when I got Luna, who was my second dog, and you've all seen Luna. Um, but um, I got Luna as a preparation dog for when Farley would pass away. I was like, if I don't have another dog, I won't want to get another dog, or, you know, whatever, whatever. So I got Luna. Uh, I saw her in a pet store window and I thought she looked like the dog from As Good As It Gets, which is a Brussels Griffon. Now, when she was younger, her scruff right around her mouth was really dark and her uh, fur was really tan. But as she's aged, her fur is lightened everywhere. Her body fur and the scruff around her face. So, um, But she looked just like a Brussels Griffon in the window. So I went and asked about her and like, do you want to play with her? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, she's a pug Pekingese mix. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know what, what breed that would, that would, you know, look like that. Um, but she's a, yeah, pug Pekingese. So I went into the room and I played with her. I, they sat her down and she just ran laps around my feet for about 20 or 30 seconds. And I was just like, all right, this is the dog for me. <laughs> I was like, I just knew. I just knew. That she was going to be a cool dog just because she was being so cute. And so I played with her for a little bit longer. And then I went and I was like, okay, I'll think about it. Gave her back. I finished my Christmas shopping because this, this was Christmas time. And I was like, I finished my Christmas shopping. And I was like done. And I was just like, oh, God, I can't let that dog go. So I went back and I got her. Um, and my parents were so pissed. I wasn't living with them anymore, but they were still so pissed. Like, you don't need another dog. And I was like, you always need another dog. There's no such thing as too many dogs. Unless you have, like, a one-bedroom apartment or um, even a, um, sorry, a studio apartment or even a one-bedroom apartment. And um, I was like, we'll be fine. Because my boyfriend at the time, Mitch, he had a large house. And his dog, Bodie which was an English um, um, English beagle, um, who was a dick. That dog was a dick. He bit me so many times. Um, and uh, But he did not like Farley, but he loved Luna. We brought Luna home, and he would just put her in his mouth, lay on his back, and go, hur, 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 act like he was biting her. He loved Luna. But, uh, and he tolerated Farley. Um, actually the first time that they, Farley and, and, uh, Bodhi met, um, Bodhi <laughs> attacked Farley. And ever since then, or ever after that, Farley was weary of him and Bodhi did not like Farley. Um, but they were copacetic enough to live in the same domicile, um, and not kill each other. Um, so, um... But yeah, I got Luna, and it was wonderful. Um, I have so many pictures of her from when she was a puppy. It's so cute. Uh, so, 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 so cute. Um, like, there's a photo of her. We had a, uh, a friend of Mitch's visiting. I cannot remember her name right now. But um, she had all of her stuff laying out on the couch as she was sleeping on the couch. And it was a big couch. But anyways... Um, she had all of her stuff right now, and on top of her bag were all these bras. Well, Luna crawled into one of the bra cups and took a nap, because this girl was very well endowed. Um, and we just walk in, and there she is, laying in the bra. And I took a photo, because it was too freaking cute. Too cute. And, um, and his friend was like, well, 
My breast is the size of a small dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was uh, Luna whenever I first got her. As she grew up, she wasn't very needy like uh, Farley was because Farley paid all the attention to her. He would like lick her face and after he got to like her, because at first, if she got within three feet of him, he would growl and show his teeth, like, Arr. Um, But eventually, as, like, maybe after a month or so, he fell in love with her, and it was like she was his baby or something, because he would just sit there and lick her face, and, like, he was never without her. And, um, which was really sad for her when Farley died. Um... I was 26, I believe, when Farley died. And um, and I don't want to go into the specifics of that because it's terrible. Um, but when he died, um, she suddenly needed me because she was without attention. And she became such a loving dog. But those first four or five years I had her... She would, she would basically, it wasn't like, I, it was like I didn't exist. You know, <laughs> like, um, it wasn't that she didn't like me or anything, but she just, she got everything she needed from being with Farley. And after Farley died, she became very needy. Wanted, you know, wanted to be pet all the time. Like, there was, like, she was, she was one of those dogs that whenever you'd pet her and you stopped, she would force you to keep petting her. That was her M.O. Or it is her M.O. Well, it was her M.O. She did, that, Now that she's old, she doesn't really act like that anymore. But she's like, she was. I mean, you'd pet her, and once you'd quit, she'd either paw at you, or um, put her head up under your hand like that. She'd go, nah, I'm not done. So, um, she, it was really cute. But sometimes it got really annoying. I'd be like, all right, Luna, I've pet you for like 10 minutes. <laughs> But, um, yeah, she was really cute as well. And, um, and it was, it's been good ever since, um, Farley died. But, like, two, two or three months ago, no, probably a little bit longer than that. Because I was, it was before I went into rehab. So maybe, like, October, November sometime. It was like she just changed very suddenly. And um, the, the vet thinks she maybe had a stroke and she lost some of her vision. And she's not quite all, all there all the time. But um, yeah, she just suddenly became an old dog. It was really weird. It wasn't like anything gradual. It was almost like overnight she just became an old dog. And so she doesn't do the force you to pet her thing anymore. Um, but... Um, She's still a lover. She's, she's a little bit more stingy with kisses now than she used to be. But um, she still gives them on occasion. So that makes me happy. Um, but anyways, yeah, she's and she's doing good right now. She has liver problems. Um, and we give her a pill for it. So, ooh, excuse me. Hopefully that'll keep her kicking with us for... As long as we can. I know my parents are really annoyed about her being blind and getting around, but she's doing pretty good with it. You know, she just runs into stuff on occasion, which makes it makes me sad. But um, you know, you can't you can't help it. So I actually want to find like a doggy football helmet, like a hard doggy football helmet, like one that has like the blocker right here, you know. So she can wear it when she's around the house, and I'll take it off when she's eating. But I just, I hate that she bumps her face into so much stuff. Um, so if anybody can find one, or, or let me know about one, that would be awesome. Because I googled it, and all I could find were, like, army helmets. And, like, biker helmets. You know, like, the just the ones that go like this. So, um, you know, if anybody knows of anything... Let me know. I'd love to buy one for her. Um, but yeah, she's she's my baby. Well, they were all my babies, but 
Um, yeah, especially Luna, though, because she was a lover. She is a lover. But, um, yeah. So I'm sorry to make this a little bit depressing, ending each dog story with, oh, they died, oh, they died, oh, she's blind now. But, um, and I know I wasn't very uplifting and silly in this video, um, because I'm very tired. I don't know if you noticed, but my eyes are not open all the way. London Fog! Here on Z1077 with Drucifer. Oh, and just Drucifer. Never mind, I was going to say Drucifer and the Derek. But the Derek is not here. Are you here? Okay, cool, thank you. Mmm. Anyway... I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching. Especially if you've watched this far. Um, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye.